trying to ban like a certain amount of hours for kids to play on games. Did you see that? I did see that. And I did see that. What was it like three hours a week or something? Gosh darn China people made TikTok, dude. If there's not such a if there's not such a blatant act of war on focus from country to country, these people made TikTok said, hey, okay. We made an algorithm that literally sucks up focus of, of people that are sucked into it. And then a year later, they're like, hey, guys, hey, big, big Papa China here. You guys got to get more focused over here in China. We got those schmucks over there, those, the, <laughs> those diverse buffoons over there in America got twindling their fingers for four hours a day, getting sucked into people's funny videos. You know, uh, you would think that China, of all places, would just be like, yo, Let's uh, let's embrace all this, uh, all these kids playing video games, and just make the next fucking superpower of kids that, or superpower of generation that are just like Game. engulfed in the digital world. No, automatically know how to like do shit. In I don't know, they're just like better than Americans at like um, digital controlling stuff. digital avatars. Just so listening to the psychologist who's talking about why Chinese are killing Americans at math. And it's not necessarily because they're better at math. It's because they can focus longer on one thing. And Americans have ADD. TikTok, freaking banning gaming. It's, a, it's a, like, that's a very concerted effort to make sure their population is able to like concentrate and, and view things out. But don't, isn't, doesn't gaming require concentration too? You know, I was watching someone and they were like, gaming is like the ultimate, like in the zone thing. You're only thinking about like that present moment and you're super like dialed in. Yeah. Um, and like, you're actually kind of like solving problems whereas TikTok, you're just existing. You're yeah. Scrolling. But especially because China has weird games. Their games are like Candy Crush type stuff. Like, I'm sure there's like a sect of like teens that are doing like World of Warcraft and, uh, that one crazy one, but for like young kids, that's probably ruining focus, dude. Like I, it's crazy how. Like I was, I was, I was thinking about with the pod too. Like the pod, do it directly at five, and then an hour goes by and it's super fast, or kind of like kind of slow, but you're like super in it. And then, like not having the pod regimen, it was like, if I went on my phone for a second, it was super easy to for an hour to go by and do nothing. Yeah, fuck. Do you, are you ever just on Instagram or TikTok and like you're in it? You look but up in your brain. Out. You're just like, I need to break away. From I try this. to. I need to like go on a walk or something. Like I remember, I had that thought. Like every time I'm on TikTok for more than five minutes, I'm just like, dude, like fucking close the app. Yeah. Throw your phone at somewhere else. It's a, it's a good a book or something. It's a good practice in mindfulness. Dude, fucking, I swear to God, Instagram, something about their app icon. I've said this before. As soon as you close it and then you like scroll another page and scroll back, it just makes me want to click it again. Yeah. It's like, what the they, fuck? They've got the like thumb power. That's crazy. Yeah. That could, oh, man. I, and someone was talking about how the like swiping of a thumb might be some kind of like primal addiction. Um, maybe some monkey stuff behind it. I don't know. Could well, be. yeah, when you're when you're swiping through and you're just mindlessly going through your iPhone pages, mindlessly. We uh, used to we used to go on the internet to escape reality. Now we go to reality to escape the internet. Uh, that's that's a good one. It's pretty. It's pretty daunting. Why do I feel like my body's being refreshed when I'm literally just walking outside to get the mail? 